Alright everyone, today we are now doing match... I, I think match 11 is... Yes. Match 11 of the Underdark Tournament. Uh, Hook Whore versus the Chull. Okay, now... Different from previous video, I will be doing the actual average of their health instead of doubling it. You know, times two. So I'm gonna make this a little bit easier for me. Thirteen first with hook war, which does not hit. Natural one, which definitely doesn't hit. Seventeen hits. Seventeen hits. Troll will perform uh, a pincer attack. Bing. Two d six. Bludgeoning damage 11. Alright, and uh, Hook Horror is getting grappled unless escaping, which fails. It's a large creature, so therefore it can be grappled. Cord uses a natural 20 to try and get rid of the grapple effect. That and will roll for hook attack. What is interesting enough is that both modifier a plus 4 to the 2d6 of piercing damage. Well, the troll is bludgeoning damage for a pincer. Hook horror is piercing damage. But they have that of both the same damage attack. Uh, uh, 8 piercing damage is what I had rolled. So that's gonna lead it down to... Okay. A few... 12 seconds have already passed the game. Okay, that hits. That hits. That hits. That hits. That hits. That hits. Sorry. Okay. Uh, we'll perform... Uh, we'll perform a ten... Uh, pincer attack again. It's gonna be nine bludgeoning damage. Unless. Okay, I'm wrong. Sorry, sorry. It's gonna be nine bludgeoning damage. So that'll drain it. And once again. Uh, well, actually, Hookor is still, um. Shoot. Wait a minute. Horkor. I've, I'm so sorry. Okay, I rolled the natural 20 for the Horkor. Sorry, I completely missed that. Okay. So 93 minus 16. Leads it down to 77. My bad. Natural 20 would be double damage, so I completely misread that. So sorry, everyone. Okay. Forgot whose turn it was. Uh, Troll. Yes, Troll performs uh, 9 points of damage, but the Hook Horror is still grappled. Can't repeat the saving throw. So, okay, succeeds. See if it attacks, though, which fails. No longer grappled. Seven, which fails. Freaking. Okay, I gotta roll a different dice. I'm sorry. Ooh, crappy dice. Let's use the crappy dice for all sorts. Uh, fail. Does that work? I rolled an 18 with the crappy dice. I think that worked. I'll have to separate these. Okay. Uh, hook horror does attack. Uh, see if it attacks again. We'll perform a multi-attack. That succeeds. We'll perform a two... Two hook attacks as with the multi-attack state. So, let's roll all of them. So, 
so six, shoot, six plus nine being 15, plus 19, no way, no, I'm sorry, 15 plus eight would be, shoot, it's gonna be 23, 23 damage total, so that'll be, right, okay, so that's it. Okay, Joel's turn is next. Uh, in fact, might not roll. Hakor will have to roll a constitution saving throw. The troll is going to engulf the Hakor's head with its tentacle mouth. Alright, that's going to be a 17, which does succeed. Otherwise, that, that uh, Hakor would have been poisoned and paralyzed uh, at the same time, which will be terrifying. Uh, but anyways, yes, Hokor successfully escapes. It's a 14, which hits. In fact, might as well strike another attack again. It's gonna be another plus 8 a modifier for the 2 attacks. And I'm gonna have to roll 4d6s instead of the 2. Alright, that's gonna be 24. Total. 24 appears. 24 piercing damage. Oh, sorry. Alright. Hukura lashes again. Shoal goes next. As it does, we'll. In fact, I think we'll do a multi attack of its own as well. Which also succeeds. Both succeed gonna be start with the first attack okay it's gonna be that's so gonna be 12 plus 4 which will be 16 16 bludgeoning damage damage uh, and We'll see if the hook war manages to pull DC 14, see if it succeeds, fail, is now grappled, as it is, it says here that if the creature is grappled, it can also use a tentacle once. So it could do this, so it's going to be, shoot, <laughs> okay, so it's going to be three, Plus four. Seven. Alright. Now, Hukor will have to roll a constitution saving throw. Succeeds. Uh, avoids the tentacles from poisoning and uh, and paralyzing the Hukor also. Uh, Hukor is next, but is grappled, so it can't really benefit from movement but can benefit from more attack damage. So that's going to be 18. Only do that once. 6 plus 4. That's going to be 10 piercing damage. Hold up. Let's do this. That's a failure. No. No. We can roll a different dice. I hate this. Okay, that succeeds. Hook War performs another hook attack. Seven points of damage. I'll leave it down to that. Troll is next. Succeed. Uh, as it has to be a 2d6 of bludgeoning damage with its pincer. Alright, 12 damage. This is kind of insane. I mean, they're both trying to seed hard enough. This is crazy. I mean, that's all I'm saying. Both of them have the same strength modifier. Okay. That is a 17. Succeed. Alright, we'll try and swing one of its claws again. That's going to be a 6. 
plus t uh, plus four. It's gonna be ten piercing damage. It's gonna be ten. Yeah, ten piercing damage. Sorry. It's gonna lead it down to three. We'll perform another pincer attack. It's gonna be. Alright, so it's going to lead it down to 9. Alright, um, Hakor is next. 6 eights. See if it kills. Alright, so, uh, new Hakor, uh, don't have to roll for this, but the Hakor does use its hook and permanently, uh, kills the troll by stabbing its hook into the troll's chest, killing it instantly. Alright, uh, next up will be match 12, as of what I could recall. Match 12 being Doppelganger versus uh, Bonaga uh, Spirit. Let's get this over with. Um, first starting with the Doppelganger. Uh, okay, bad news, dice is mixed. I'll have to reorganize the d20 so I'll remember which is which. <laughs> Happens in the previous video, so just so you know. I make that very stupid mistake. Six, which automatically fails. Natural 20! Off to a great start. That is perfect. Luckily, they do not have resistance against anything of piercing, bludgeoning, or anything like that. Um, but, okay, anyways. Bonaga, yeah, Bonaga will perform a bite, bite attack the only thing it can do. So, I'm going to have to roll. Alright, I'm going to get used to this again. So that's going to be 8. It's going to be 11. Plus. So that's 11. 5. It's going to be 6 poison damage. So 11 plus 6 will be 17 total. So, freak, I gotta do this on the calculator. Sorry guys, I have to pull it out. Um, so 52 minus 17 is what I said before, so. Okay, leads it down to 35 health for the double gang. Perfect. So, uh, wait, why am I rolling that? Sorry, sorry, Doppelganger is next. The six seconds have already passed. Has to be a natural number, okay. Doppelganger's strength modifier is zero, so it can't really add up. Oh, Naga rolled a natural one. That's a fail. That's an, it's an eight plus two, which is a 10, does not hit. Eight. I'm gonna have to roll the crappy dice. Sorry, guys. Crappy dice. Activate. Freak. I rolled a four from that. Oh, something good. Okay, that's better. Doppelganger strikes the first attack over approximately a few uh, 18 seconds have passed through all that rolling of dice, which I'm sorry about. Um, uh, read thoughts. Vader don't attack rolls against an enemy I'm surprised. Okay. It's gonna be two. Okay, so that's gonna be a two plus four. That's gonna be six bludgeoning damage plus a three D six of extra as a surprise attack. So that's gonna be So six plus six plus uh it's gonna be a nineteen total of health. So nineteen is gonna be Okay, I'm good, I'm good again. I'm good. I'm good. Let's 
6 plus 2 is going to be... Well, something good for once. Nope. 3 does not work. Freak. Ah, dang it. Alright. Freak. Finally! God, another freaking... God knows... Ah, thinking God knows other 18 seconds have already passed. Bonaga will perform another bite attack. Wait. I just realized. I rolled a natural 20 for the Bonaga from the first attack. So if you think about it, I made a mistake. So it's going to be 52... Shoot. Minus. Okay, times 2. Two minus thirty. So I think that was probably it. That was double damage, right? Otherwise, I didn't do it correctly. It's gonna lead it down to eighteen, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I did it right. I'm gonna say that doppelganger is at. All right. Anyways, uh, it's gonna be four, uh, four plus three, in seven piercing damage. Plus. Okay, so seven piercing damage plus. Uh, what is that? Plus five. It's gonna be twelve. So it's gonna lead it down to. That. Okay. Uh, unsuccessful. That hits again. Uh, strikes against the attack once more. I think it's gonna hit. It. I mean, it doesn't really matter what I roll. Okay. That's five piercing damage. Whoa! Okay. Uh, Doppelganger uh, dies uh, from the Bone Naga's remaining poison damage inflicted on its 1 HP. Doppelganger falls to the ground, uh, permanently poisoned, and is dying. Uh, green bubbles foaming from its mouth and collapsing. Bone Naga is successful. Alright everyone, next up will be Constellations number... Six is what I'm trying to see. Okay, consolation number six being Hellhound versus the Grell. This time I'm gonna roll this. Uh, I'm gonna roll advantage because both of them have their average health doubled. So this this will be an issue. Let's see this. So it's gonna be. So Hellhound, uh, unless, no, never mind. 6 plus 3 does not hit 12. But a Grell does. That's going to be a 14, so that does hit. Uh, as it does, Grell will perform a beak attack, snapping its beak as it crawls a few 5, 10 feet to the Hellhound. Snapping its beak, which shall be, shoot, what was that? It's going to be uh, 6 health taken from the Hellhound. 6. Perfect. Okay. Alright, next up will be the Hellhound. Uh, I rolled two 12s from the advantage roll. Uh, that's the end of the Hellhound's advantage. Uh, terminates. Uh, as it does, Hellhound does perform an attack, which does, uh, does hit the Grell. Of course it does. Uh, will perform a bite attack. It will not perform a breath weapon yet. It won't perform its fire breath. So let's just take a look at this. It's going to be uh, 6 plus 6 plus 3 
is going to be 9. So that's going to be 9 piercing damage. Unless I have to look at the resistance first before anything else happens. Okay. So, so 9 damage inflicted against the Grill. Uh, plus a 2d6 of fire damage. Boom, baby. So that's going to be... 6 fire damage is what it is. So, 6 minus 101 is a 95, probably. Okay. I did that correct. Sorry, right, sorry. Right. Alright, both of their advantages are gone. Now the game is on. The Grail rolls a 4, which fails. Natural 1. Okay, that's. Okay, that was an 11. That does not hit. Oh, natural one. You know what? I'm gonna have to roll the crappy dice one last time. It's worth it. Grell, uh, Grell strikes an attack. Performs a tentacle attack, being 1d10 of piercing damage. Wow. Okay, 10. Total piercing damage. So 10 total, so that's gonna be 74, and Hellhound will have to roll the constitution saving throw to escape, uh, well, rolled an 11, that directly passes, poisoned for, hell, Howard can be poisoned, I did see, I didn't see that, uh, so it is, it succeeds, so therefore it cannot be grappled, that is a good thing, Hellhound is next, roll freaking good, yes, <laughs> Hellhound will perform a fire breath attack, that being the case, I'll have to write a time thing for its breath weapon to recharge. So, there you go. Okay, so, first starting. Of course, the Grell will have to roll for, I think, dexterity is what it is. So the maximum would probably... I dropped that by accident. All right, here. Uh, Grell will have to roll to uh, dexterity. Automatically succeeds. So that being said, the Grell will have to take half the fire damage. Half. But for now, I'm just going to have to roll how much it is. So what I'm going to do, so instead of... You know what? I'll have to do the hard way. I'll have to do the hard way because I only have... God dang it. Ah. ah, okay. It's gonna be... It's gonna be... That's 11. So 11 plus 7, being 18. Of course, half of that would be 9. So it's going to be 9 damage against... So that'll be... yeah. Okay. Wait, is it? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I was wrong. It's 86. Alright, so, uh, Grell is next. 17. Does hit. We'll perform, uh, beak attack again, being, uh, 2d4. It's gonna be 5 plus 2. Seven damage. Okay, so seven. So that's gonna be. Seven. 
the servant. It's gonna be okay. I should have known that. No, that does not count. Wait, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven is a very close call, but does not work. Natural one. That succeeds. So, that's gonna be one. By attack, it's gonna be piercing damage, that's gonna be seven plus three, that's gonna be ten. So that'll be Alright, Grail misses, Hellhound attacks again. Once again, doing its bite attack. So it's gonna be one point of pier uh, four points of piercing damage, plus nine points of fire damage. It's gonna be 13 total of damage. Freak. 13 total of damage. So. Okay. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's. Woo! Okay. Grill hits. Hellhound doesn't. Yeah, Hellhound doesn't. Uh, Grill will perform another tentacle attack, meaning that. Uh. So that'll be three. It's gonna be five piercing damage. Perfect. Succeeds the constant saving throw. Uh, Grail is next because I already rolled for break. Really rolled for the attack. Five misses. Nope. Twelve plus two is gonna be fourteen, which misses. Fourteen hits. Hellhound strikes. Will perform another uh, breath weapon attack. So, it's going to roll for damage. Freak, I almost dropped that again. I gotta stop doing that. Alright, here. I'll roll for damage, uh, but before I do, I'm going to have to let the grow roll for dexterity di uh, dodging whatnot. Fails. It's supposed to be 12, I rolled an 8. Plus its constitution modifier. So I'm gonna. Alright. E6. So that will be. It's gonna be uh, 22 fire damage. Yep. 22 total. So, 58 minus 22 is going to be 36. Right? Yep. Okay. Next up, boink. That misses. That, whoa. Natural 20 hits. Okay, Hellhound will perform another bite attack since that it'll have to recharge its fire breath until 
the uh, five turns will end like before. So that's going to be 1d8 of piercing damage again. 2d6 uh, of fire damage. Alright. That is going to be five piercing damage. Plus. Fifteen total. So. Okay. Perfect. Grell hits. Performs another uh, tentacle attack. In means of trying to grapple the hellhound. Really eager to do it. Heck. That's three points of piercing damage. So I'll lead it down to. Uh, and Hellhound will have two gold to escape. Which succeeds. Ten plus three, which hits. Hellhound will once again perform another bite attack. Another 1d8. And... Alright, so that's going to be... So that will be a total of fire and piercing being 16 damage. 16 damage total. So 21 minus 16 is 5. Grail is at 5 HP left. But that just depends whether or not it might be a challenge. The Grell will attempt to see what to do. Ah, freak me. I rolled a natural one for the Grell. Fourteen. Well, worth a shot. Hellhound will once again perform another breath attack. That hits. Uh, Hellhound bites the Grell, which does, uh, bite, uh, the piercing damage does kill the Grell. Uh, but the Grell, uh, is finished off with the fire breath of the Hellhound's maw. Fire permanently sizzling and cooking the Grell's, uh, uh, aberration form. Permanently killing it and the tentacles no longer moving. Hellhound is permanently victorious.